Okay, so airfoils create lift in two ways. The first way is by directing the airflow downward and then reacting against that downward flow. So let's look at a symmetrical airfoil. So when a symmetrical airfoil is at a zero angle of attack, the airflow will pass over the upper surface and under the lower surface in the exact same way. Whatever happens to the flow above the upper surface is going to happen in the exact same way to the flow underneath the lower surface. So generally, airfoils are not designed like this. Generally, the upper surface is rounded and the lower surface is flatter. So remember we said that the boundary layer just above the surface is usually pretty thin, okay? Since air follows the boundary layer, the smooth laminar flow follows the downward slope of the airfoil. Okay, so the wing is basically directing the airflow downward. The wing is exerting a downward force on the airflow. Now, Newton's third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So this downward force has an equal and opposite upward force. Okay, now it's not like the air particles are, you know, like bullets being shot out of a gun and are bouncing off or ricocheting off the bottom, uh, the lower surface of the airfoil and pushing the airflow up. Remember, that's not how a fluid behaves, right? A fluid flows together. And so the airflow gets directed downward. And then that downward direction has an equal and opposite upward reaction. So we're basically just reacting against the air. We're pushing it downward. And by pushing it downward, we push ourselves up.